I want to use this video to talk about Autodesk Fusion 360 joints. The joint command is located in assembly. Remember you must have components to use the joint command. I'll pick J or joints. Notice that three of the objects are grayed out. That's because they are grounded. Fusion assumes that you want to join a free part to a fixed part. Let's do rigid and we'll do a make. Now when you're picking points you have standard points on the surface or edges. I'm going to pick the center point. You can pick free points if you want. I pick that one and pick a matching one over here. Now I have a fixed rigid joint make. Now I can do an offset. There is an inch and a half offset in the Z direction. If you're unsure which way you're going Hover over the left, you'll see offset Z. You can see it over here also. Let's do a, a flush. I'll pick this face, the center, and pick this face over here. Make sure I'm on rigid. And you'll notice it looks like a mate, but if I hit the flip, it becomes a flush. I can offset that, whatever value I want. There's a two inch offset. You could offset the other way too. Okay, now let's do a angle. You can use the fixed joint or rigid joint to do an angle. You can pick on the edge of each one. I'm going to pick the center of the edge. And then I have edges match together and I can use the angle to set the angle I want. There's a 90 degree fixed joint. That cannot be changed. So that may not be what you want. Let's undo that. Let's switch joints to revolve. Pick on the same two edges. Now you can set the angle to whatever you want. I'll just set the same 90. But remember now this is still a revolve. A little later I'm going to show you how to restrict this motion to what, whatever you want. Let's undo that. Now let's look at a tangent constraint. These two discs are four inches diameter. I want to constrain them tangent to each other. There is no tangent joint. I'm going to use revolve. So I'll pick the center of each disc point. They come together and then I'm going to offset them in this direction. I'll measure it. I know it's four but I can measure it by simply touching the edge and there it is. If I say OK you'll notice the two drill holes will stay in relationship to each other as they revolve around. So let me revert back and show you how I can change the whole location to start with. I'll go back and edit the joint. I can then revolve this one let's say 90 degrees in relation to the other and say OK. Again they'll stay in relationship as they revolve around. Let me undo that. Now what if you have a different diameter? No problem. Just use the combined radiuses divided by 2 or combined radiuses straight. So I'm going to do a revolve between the center of this one and the center of this one. One is two inch diameter, one is four, so I'll come out four. Just type in four and they'll be tangent. Again it can float around. Later I'll show you how to restrict this. Let me undo that. Now let's look at insert. I have a socket head cap screw I want to put into the drilled hole. So I'm going to use a rigid if you want it just to go in place. Joint, rigid, picking the bottom edge of the part to the edge of the hole. Now you notice it went in backwards, just simply flip it. You can change the angle once, but it will be fixed once you say OK. 
it will not move. Let's undo that and do it again. Let's use a revolve in case you want to rotate it. Joint. I'm going to change to revolve. I'm going to pick on the edge and then pick on this center. Again I flip it and I can change the angle but I can also say OK and change it anytime I want. Now remember you can also do offsets. So if I go back and add the joint I can use the in this case it's the Z direction and say I want to move it out half inch. It's minus half. So there we are. So this concludes just setting up basic joints. My next video I'll talk about restricting their motion. Thank you.